Ladies and gentlemen, before we dig into the video, a quick announcement. Kaizen Training, that's me, Barquan, Omar Isaf. We have a bunch of different programs to help you reach your goals, whether it's hypertrophy, strength, fat loss, whatever it is. And right now, we're running a spring special. Use code SPRING18 and get 30% off any program you want. Limited time, check it out. We're also opening up our very limited group coaching. We have Facebook group, we all chat. You get your form critiqued, you get a check-in once a week with our homie Nigel, who's a super, super intelligent, strong coach. Check it out, kaizentraining.com. Link will be in the description and also in the comments. 30% off all programs, grab them now. And into the topic of the day, which is the keto diet. My experience with it, what I think is good about it, what I think is bad about it, how and when I used it, and who maybe I would recommend it for. For those that maybe don't know much about it, it's a higher fat diet, moderate protein, and very low carb diet. So typically what you'll do is you'll want about 60 to 70% of your overall calories coming from fat, uh, 20 to 30 from protein, and then maybe 10%, 5% or less coming from carbohydrates. Um, this was first kind of brought about um, for epilepsy and to help other diseases. Uh, our man, Dr. Diagostino, I believe he's in Florida, he's studying all about it to help with different immune diseases and other things to help people be a little bit healthier uh, and live a healthier life. It has gotten um, more popular in kind of the performance world or dieting world as some professional bodybuilders and other people will use it to cut weight um, and to be in a calorie deficit. I tried it kind of based on a diet called the Carb Night, uh, probably Eight years ago or so, I did it for maybe a year or two, uh, living that low carb lifestyle, ketoed out of my mind, um, and I've gone through different cycles of it, uh, trying different things. The rest of the video, I'm gonna kinda talk about, again, my experience, who I maybe think it's for, and it's gonna be in regards to performance and people with uh, an overall healthy life. Not talking about immune diseases or other things, so you can do your own research or comments on those things if you'd like, but that's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone who's generally speaking healthy um, and is just focused on performance, looking better, uh, and kinda living a normal life or using this as a regular diet. For myself, you know, the benefits I see uh, or for any individual, Con Air, the guy who edits and crushes all these videos, um, helping him do a little bit of keto with his own diet, and the things I think that can really help it out, or I can't even think straight. <laughs> it's not picking it up, I just can't think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fortnite. And, uh, the benefits of it that I think it can help some people is that it's insanely simple. For the most part, you just avoid carbs. No sugars, no carbs, no anything like that. And eat kind of red meat, eggs, things with higher fat. You can use, eat cheeses and different um, condiments that have a higher fat and you can get away with it while you're traveling. It's very, very simple. Another effect that I had or that keto had on me, I found that I was uh, very satiated very often would go a full day and almost forget to eat and that's the first time in my life. Coming from an inner fat kid who loves food, I'm constantly thinking about food, I always wanna eat, my appetite's through the freaking roof, especially when I'm training heavy. On keto, after you get adjusted to it, uh, my appetite just happened to go down, you know, and, and fat, eating high amounts of fat and protein tend to keep people pretty satiated. So that's another benefit that if you have a really high appetite, this may help you out as well. Uh, generally speaking, for me, myself, and I, uh, and maybe some of you, the other benefit of keto is that you get to eat pretty good food. Uh, you know, things that I find delicious, steaks, eggs, etc. I, I ate in and out burger. I would even eat Chipotle and just not get rice or beans or very minimal beans in a bowl, something of that nature. But it's foods I look forward to eating, chicken wings here and there, some types of sushi, um, and different foods that were very easy to stick to and were still satisfying to eat uh, by taste and they're fully on the diet and work very well. Uh, I do like to eat a variety of vegetables and that's something on keto you don't typically do. Uh, most recommend very um, green vegetables or low amounts of vegetables as veggies do have some carbs in them um, and if you start to eat higher amounts then you know it may kick you out of ketosis and mess with your insulin blah 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 neither here nor there. I guess going into some of the negatives of keto that I uh, experienced myself and I've heard others experience is that my energy uh, as I was powerlifting during the time and maybe even playing basketball I can't remember um, but my energy was really really low. I'd get through maybe a lift or two and then my energy would just plummet. I wouldn't be able to get through the workout or recover from a workout as I would as if I was eating carbs of similar calories. Um, and this may be just my experience, but I've heard others do the same uh, or feel the same. 
Another thing is you, uh, not only when I'm adjusting to the diet, but also just sometimes I would have a dull headache uh, in general, <clears throat> generally feel pretty lethargic. My energy daily, although sipping the same amount of caffeine, coffee or whatever as I would while I'm eating carbohydrates, I would just generally feel kind of low energy and slow moving. Um, sometimes my thoughts were a little clear, uh, but I feel like my thinking or my cog cognitive function was about the same as if I was eating carbs, but my body energy, getting up, lifting, walking, whatever was always a little bit down one of the major issues I found you know being trying to be a little bit more self-aware looking back on doing the carb night or a keto, a ketogenic style diet for myself is that I would have refeeds as per that exact diet and I know some ketogenic diets may not or other people might have cheat meals or whatever it might be uh, but it would be every seven to ten days it would be a carbohydrate night uh, where you kind of reset the system or get some glycogen in you to, to, to restore everything um, and for me what that led to is kind of a bad mental state of kind of the refeed binge feel guilty restrict myself, binge again type mentality where I would literally be focused in on Friday because I could get that ice cream um, rather than now, you know, kind of tracking my food or being a little bit more uh, intuitive with my eating or just portion control, whatever you might want to call it. Um, I just kind of fit in a little bit more of the junk food or, or things I like to eat in moderation throughout my week and mentally I'm not focused on food as much as I was then. Although I know I said before that I wasn't hungry uh, as much so I wasn't thinking about my next meal, I was overall looking forward to that refeed and then I'd end up probably binging or overdoing it more than I should and then I'd feel bad about it and then I'd go ultra restrictive for the next seven to ten days. I just think it could lead to a very bad cycle especially if you have some type of addictive personality like myself and many people out there. Um, it just led to a dirty, 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 dirty cycle uh, that I didn't want to get involved in. And now I'm, I'm in a little bit healthier relationship with food. Uh, growing up, I just never really, even though my mom's pretty smart with nutrition, has a good general idea of it and would cook us good dinners, I never had uh, any idea of kind of moderation or portion control uh, and tracking my food kind of uh, on its own. Uh, I, I got that lesson and taught it to myself. Uh, you can track and I do recommend you still track your food um, while you're doing a ketogenic diet because you know studies have shown that overall calorie uh, intake is going to be the defining factor when you're talking about body composition uh, whether gaining weight or losing weight um, both ketogenic or if carbohydrate uh, style diet generally speaking you know I think there's lifestyle things there's the type of foods you like to eat uh, what sports you're into how important your performance is and maybe how your body reacts uh, that will kind of dictate for yourself uh, what style of diet might work best for your lifestyle. I think that if you're powerlifting, playing basketball, football, soccer, something of that nature, eating carbohydrates not only will allow you to perform better but also recover better. Uh, tracking your food or having an idea of how many calories you're taking in uh, with some quality micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, which often come from fruits and vegetables, having something a little bit more well-balanced both mentally and physically in your lifestyle is going to be best overall. Um, but I would recommend, you know, talk to a doctor if you have an health issue because some of these diets may help you out. Uh, and if you are healthy, maybe try experimenting with a, a different style diet for anywhere from six to eight weeks. See how it affects you uh, both lifestyle-wise, mental-wise, and physically. I think those are going to be um, important for you to kind of run mini experiments on yourself to figure it out. Again, guys, appreciate you. 30% off all programs. Spring18, KaizenTraining.com. Head towards your goals. I appreciate you. Catch you in the next video. Salam Mike. Alan Thrall's butt. We're out of here.